Yeah, so I've been getting a lot of comments um, from people <clears throat> asking about what I was talking about when I said I rotate the pen. So when I when I when I tag, I keep the, the pen, the nib anyway, at a sort of a forty five degree angle. So if I do a line, you can see the angle is always going to be kept at sort of forty five degrees. And then when I'm talking about twisting the pen, so if I keep it at a 45 degree angle and do an S, I know the, the paper's a bit thick for this pen, but yeah, that would have stayed all at 45 degrees. But if I twist it to use just the point of the pen, it's going to go thinner, and then if I twist it back, it'll go thicker. Let's see if I've got a better pen to use. This is more of a chisel pen, this is a pro marker. Let me try that again. So if we keep it at 45 degrees, you can see, if I twist it, just to use the, the nib of the pen, bring it back, you get the thick and the thin line. And then bring it down, twist it, comes into a straight line, to a thinner straight line. Thick, twist, thin, Thick, thin, thick. It's another chisel. You just take your time. Stop. Twist. Once you've got the hang of twisting it, you can put it into letters as you're writing. It's more for what calligraphy calligraphy writers use but I just tried to sort of uh, incorporate it with my hand styles then all I do for this these little bits is just use the 45 degree angle and just come straight down and come back use the thinner end of the pen I'm talking about the point here, this, the point bit. Try it again on this marker. So I'm just rolling the pen, rolling the pen to the left. I roll it to the right, you, you get the same effect, effect, but it's just a bit harder to, to control. Try with the broad. This is 17 millimeter, so it's quite thick. So obviously you can see how thick it is. Now if you use the actual corner of the nib, see the difference. You can switch this one round, it's got a 10mm just to add these little flicks.
So yeah, I hope that helps. This is a good letter to practice because it's got the curves in it. W is like, uh, letters like W, down. Zigzag, that's a good one to practice as well. But yeah, I hope that helps. I'm not the greatest at explaining things. That's why I don't really talk on my videos too much. But yeah, I've seen I had a lot of questions about when I was talking about it in one of my previous videos, so I thought I'd try and explain.